Hi Virgos, it's Leonore. Welcome to Soul Search and Tarot. This is going to be your Q&A love reading. Welcome anyone with sun, moon, rising, Venus. Um, if you're single, if you're in between relationships, if you're coupled up, welcome. If the message resonates, amazing. Um, in these Q&A love readings, I do ask four specific questions. One, how are they feeling about you? Two, what's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Three, are they in another relationship? Um, if that question was already answered, in the first two questions, I'll ask, how would they feel if you and them were together? And last question is a channel love letter from your person. If they could write a love letter, what would it say? All right, let's get started. All right, first question. How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about you? Okay, well, let's see. All right, so very strong Pisces. I see here Aries, Taurus, if that means anything to you. Um, could be another Earth sign, so Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus. Um... Wow. What's going on here? A lot of you are single, um, very independent, you know, working your damn ass off, you know. Um, you guys have goals, you have you guys have ambition, um, you know, vice versa if it's vice versa, but I, I mean, I see money flowing in, and I know this is not a money reading. <laughs> it's a it's a um, love reading, but I do see money flowing in. I do see networking, connection. Um, I see somebody here, like, you know, on their grind, you know, when it comes to themselves, to, um, you know, and or, um, you know, finance and business and stuff like that. Um, expect that, they, and it is a side message, so I apologize for even bringing this into the reading, um, because, but it's here, so I have to say it, right? Um, I do see a change in finance. I do see a change in status for a lot of you, um, with the tower and the nine of pentacles. Um, I don't know why I have to say it, but I do see it here. All right, now let's go back to the love reading, shall we? Um, now... There is someone here, um, some of you may be dealing with um, someone you live with, someone that you used to live with, um, someone that um, that sees you as a very nurturing and very independent but spiritual person. Um, some of you may be dealing with the parent of your child. So... You know, a few things for some of you. you. You know who you're interested in. I don't, you know, it doesn't have to be any of those things. Um, but you know that whoever I am talking about is a hard worker. Somebody that has amazing work ethics. Um, somebody here has a very strong either Pisces or Earth in their chart. Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus. I see also Aries and Taurus. Well, I, I'm sorry. Aries and Scorpio. Aries and Scorpio. I don't know why I keep saying Taurus. Some of you may have Taurus in your chart or you know um, someone who has Taurus in their chart. I feel like I said Taurus two times by accident, but Earth sign is definitely here. Um, so that's the characteristics of this person and or you, right? Um, I feel like both of you have these things in common though. That's the thing. Like I feel like both of you are amazing parents or hard workers, or very independent. You don't need no one, honestly. Um, <clears throat> and I just see riches falling upon you or legacy status happening for you this year, not even this month, but like this year, 2022. Um, okay, that was so weird that that's coming out, but I, I, I have to say it. Um, I think that maybe I'm saying this because um, for my singles, right? For my singles who are here, you may meet somebody like this this year. 
just like you, do you know, with that spiritual um, um, knowing of who they are, you know, their surroundings, wisdom. Um, somebody here may be a teacher or, or some type of counselor or advisor, um, you know, a life coach of some sort. Um, and, and But definitely nurturing. Like there's something about both of you that are very nurturing and understanding. It's a mutual energy nonetheless. So for my singles, this may be a new person coming towards you. For the rest of you, you already know this person. And with the tower card here, um, there's um, a cycle that has not finished, <laughs> you know? Um, the person that you're interested in, um, there's something between you and this person that's not over. It's not over. And if some of you may be in separation, some of you are, are with this person um, and may be inquiring, you know, if the relationship is going to last. Especially if what I just said in the very beginning resonates to you, like the, the energy of that resonates with you. This is a person, um, and I, I should say this is a relationship between you and this person that is not going to end. Not anytime soon, not with the tower card here. Some of you thought it was over, no. Some of you think it may be over or will be over, no. No. Not at all. It's a very strong energy here with conclusions are within reach. Destined is what I'm seeing here. Your relationship between you and this person was destined or is destined. Okay. All right. Um, let's move on. Second question. What's blocking them from a union or a commitment? What's blocking them from a union or a commitment? Look at this. Um, you know, there's a person here that really wants to, um, shout out how they feel about you, you know, um, tell everyone, or at least people that are very, um, that people that they're close to, you know, about how they feel about you, about how they met you, how they love you, um, what they want to do, you know, to make the relationship work, um, and, and and again, there's two groups here, but you know, for a lot of you, you haven't met this person, and once you meet this person, you'll know exactly who I'm talking about, right? Because I had just described a lot of their characteristics. Um, some of you know this person. This person, you know, you and this person were separated for a while, or maybe the relationship didn't go anywhere. Um, know that this person wants to come back around and start again with the Ace of Cups here and the Page of Cups here. Very strong water sign, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, if that means anything to you. But this is someone who really wants to um, just say how they feel with the Five of Swords. They want to tell you how they feel. Um, I see, I'm sorry, this is a Three of Swords. I see here someone maybe healing from a past relationship. Um, could be this person thinking about this, you know, past relationship, maybe current, it could be current, you know, and they're thinking about this current relationship or a past relationship, or maybe, maybe their ex is still thinking about them, or they're still with someone here. Um, and here you are, you know, in the middle of these two relationships, this two, these two people, I should say. Not for all of you, but, you know, I do pick that up for some of you, like a third-party situation. Um, but as far as love is concerned, nothing is blocking them from loving you. Um, and for the small group of you that resonate with that third-party situation, it you know, if they're in a relationship with someone, then that could be the blockage right now. Right now. Um, but otherwise, you know, I do see adjustments are going to be required. A new romantic cycle begins. So to me, it's a very temporary energy, meaning um, if they're with someone, they may end it. If you're with someone, you may end it or it just may dissipate out of nowhere. Because I did say it was destined, right? I said there's something about you too that's pretty destined. So 
just leave it in the leave it in the hands of the universe because the universe has plans for both of you um and i'm talking to people who really want to be with this person you know i know this person wants to be with you um and if you thought about maybe reconciling or being with this person for some of you you haven't even met this person um this is supposed to be your next relationship especially when i see um, adjustments are required in a new romantic cycle begins um, I see Libra here as well. Very strong Libra here, okay? If that means anything to you. All right, third question. Um, are they in another relationship? So let's let's clear that up. Are they in another relationship? Are they? <laughs> Some of you already could answer that question for me. Some of you may not be able to, right? Especially if it's a future energy or someone that's not being very open about their current situation. All right. Um, yeah. I I feel like, you know, I honestly feel like they they gave up on this person. So whoever they were with with the Queen of Wands in reverse and the 4 of Wands in the upright, um they they're going to let them go. <sighs> Understand this person wants to be with you, not with this person. Understand that this person finds you more attractive than this person. The Queen of Wands was in reverse. And that reversal energy for Queen of Wands is someone who may not, they, someone doesn't feel attracted to this person any longer. Um, then why be in a relationship if you're not attracted to this person? You know, unless you share children in common or something like that, you know, then that's a marriage. Maybe someone here is already in, in a commitment or in a marriage. And, you know, that's hard to leave. You can't just leave a marriage like that. But nonetheless, you know, the love, the love for this person, how this person feels about you, it's very true. It's very genuine. Um, but for the rest of you, um, you know, if it's not a marriage or commitment situation where they can't leave so easily, um, even though they want to, <laughs> you know, um, especially sneak out, you know, to come and see you, um, the rest of you, it's, it's just, you know, they were in a relationship. They were in a relationship, but being with you is a lot better. Being with you is is um there's some healing going on here between you and this person this person feels it you feel it it's it's a bond between you two a soulmate energy even okay um with the eight of pentacles and the king of pentacles very strong earth taurus virgo capricorn um you may be also dealing with the gemini or you have Gemini in your chart, Sagittarius, Pisces, which I mentioned earlier, um, Virgo, which I already said. You know, money is coming up again here. This is interesting. A lot of you may be, um, a lot of you may be, having a relationship with your boss or someone from work um with the eight of pentacles and the king of pentacles you may meet this person at work or um you may meet them at their location you know at their business location um you know it's something about work meeting this person or you've met this person um in in finance is very big here with you two for whatever reason um this could be a business partner of yours that turns into a romantic relationship this could be a client of yours that turns into a relationship um but there is a very strong transaction business transaction between the both of you um If this relationship gets off the ground, you guys are going to be set financially. Um, like finance is very important to the both of you. It's not even a joke. And I just see riches, you know, when it comes to tangible items. You know, it could be as, you know, as small as a, a new car, right? Maybe it's a new car. Maybe you guys purchase a car together or this guy or this girl decides to finance a car for you. Something like that, right? Um, but it could be as big as, you know, purchasing a home 
or, you know, owning a business together, you know, but there is financial riches between the both of you. Maybe that's why you guys are destined to be together. Maybe this is why this person is meant to be in your life because they will help you financially. And, and a lot of you don't know who it is, right? A lot of you are like, I don't, I haven't met this person yet, Leonor, but I can't wait to meet them. Um, but a lot of you have, some of you have. Um, and I feel like you guys are in between, like there's a, a phase there that's not concrete. Like, I don't, you know, for those who know who I'm talking about, there's nothing yet set in stone. There's nothing official. You know, you don't know if you're boyfriend and girlfriend, you don't know if, if this is going to, you know, be, um, something that's going to expand, you know? Um, is it going to be official? Are we going to move in together? It's like a, a little, um, it's an energy of like, we don't know yet or you don't know yet. Right. But it's very strong nonetheless here, you know, even if you don't know right now, let's, let's go into the love letter and see what's going on. Let's pick up more energy with the love letter. All right. The last question is if they could write a love letter, what would it say? So it's a channel love letter from your person. Um, all right, so just bear with me while I read the energy. All right. All right, so I have Scorpio here, if that means anything to you. Um, I also have um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. All right. Um, <clears throat> to whom it may concern. I know I haven't expressed about, I know I have not expressed my feelings towards you. I've been too busy. I've been away. And maybe I may show you how I feel instead of telling you how I feel. But know that me showing you means a lot. It says a lot. It's just my way of expressing how I, how I feel, what I want from you, what I see happening next for the both of us. Sometimes I look at my phone to see if there's any messages from you, to see if you posted anything new, to see if you looked into my profile. I take a deep breath and I hope that you did so that I could see you and know that you also miss me just like I miss you. Sometimes I get angry at the world and all the misery around it, all the unfairness, all the hurt. And I feel that whatever is happening between you and me or whatever is happening between us and the outside world, will bring us together. I know it sounds strange, but anybody who's against us, anyone who talks bad about us, anyone who doesn't want to see us together is going to get theirs. Because I know that you and I were meant to be the end um i love that energy <laughs> that was such a such a sweet letter it's so deep and profound um i feel like the both of you are very spiritual do you know like this really resonates with people who are very in tuned with the spirit world and and the and the knowings inside 
you know, um, other dimensions and karma um, and stuff like that. But um, this is a very interesting love story for my Virgos here or anyone who with Virgo placement or dealing with a Virgo because um, I do see a relationship that's supposed to happen. Um, it's a little shaky right now for some of you. And again, some of you don't even know who it is, but they're coming towards you. And, and once they do come towards you, know that it may have that sense of that sense of that same energy of like, we're not sure yet. We don't know where we are. I don't know where I stand with this person. Um, this person may know where you stand with them before you even know where you stand with this person. Um, but they may be dealing with things um, from the outside world that has nothing to do with you. You know, vice versa, if it's vice versa. Okay. All right. That was your reading. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't done so. Love you for supporting my channel. Um, I do have personal reads available, so you can always email me. My email is in the description box. Um, I also offer one-on-one -on -one consultations for spiritual growth and development. All right, Virgos. Bye.